Hey guys, so yesterday I made a video, a Canva tutorial, where I showed you how to make video puzzles using Canva. So someone emailed me and they were like, how do I do the same thing with an image? And the image is basically the exactly same concept, but since one of you asked, I figured why not just make a video out of it, you know? So here's how you make a puzzle, an image puzzle, using Canva. So let's create a new design and to make my life easier I will create a square design. Um, so let's start with that. And then wait for this to load. Excuse me because my internet is so slow lately. Um, anyway, so this is the design and we're gonna make a puzzle. So let's find some frames and let's see let's go to frames and drop some frames here um, let's see some blobs maybe alright so this blob and then maybe that blob and just reposition a little bit so it kinda sorta looks like a puzzle um, and maybe Let's see this blob, like so. Maybe make it a little bigger because I don't want to have to keep doing this too many times, so the bigger is better. Like so. And then maybe another one. So, just trying to make a puzzle, guys, um, like that. Actually, I don't want this one. Um, instead, I will just use something a little more simple, like that. And let's let's say that's it. Enough already. All right. So make it make this one a little big make that one a little big okay that's our puzzle so now we're gonna make it look like there's a single image inside all of these puzzle pieces but uh, to do that we have to use four of the same images so let's go to the photos tab and let's try to find a photo that would make a good puzzle um, actually let's see I want to find a square image so it fits neatly into a square frame. Alright, and let's see a travel photo maybe? Nature or something like that. Let's see, how about how about this one? The woman? Okay, so I'm just gonna drag it and drop it right here four times like so. And yes, it doesn't look like a puzzle, but just, um, you know, wait a little bit. Um, what we're going to do is to make it a puzzle that looks like it's a single image, we have to first detach the image from the actual frame. And to do that, we double click it, and that detaches the photo. So what I want to do is I want to rotate that image until it's just, it's, you know, um, straight and then I will move this image actually you know what I just realized that I have to have the bounds of the frames within um, the main design for this to work so let me resize the frames themselves until they're within the, f the main design like so that and then resize that like so all right so now we can work with it and let's just um, make it all centered and nice all 
Alright, so let's detach that once more. And... I want to make sure that the edges of the image fit perfectly with the actual frame. That's why I chose a square image and a square frame so that it's easier for me to do. It doesn't have to be, but you have to be a lot more careful if the dimensions of the image and the dimensions of uh, and the dimension of the original frame, not the frame, sorry, the, the main design are different. So having those the same dimension like square, both square actually makes life a lot easier when you're working with this. Alright. So when you are when you have aligned the edges of the photo with the edges of the actual uh, square design, let go and just click somewhere else to uh, get out of that frame and then do the same thing with the rest of the frame. So double click to detach the image from the frame and then click the edges or the corners until they align perfectly. The edges align perfectly and the corners align perfectly with edges and corners of the background frame, like so. Do the same with the rest and remember that not all of these are aligned because when I rotated the frames, um, the images kind of uh, fits itself into the frames rotation as well. So when you detach it, make sure that if it's not straight, you're making the images straight too using the rotation handle and then you can kind of start working with it. Once again, make sure the edges and the corners are perfectly aligned with the actual uh, square frame, the original square, like so. And then do the same with this too. We're almost done. Okay, and we are done. And as you can see, it looks like a puzzle. Uh, so um, I have a little too much white space, um, more than I would like. And if I had more time, I would actually play around and probably fill out these white spaces with some more frames, uh, smaller frames, different kinds of frames. But you kind of get the idea hopefully um, what it's how it's supposed to work. So that's how you make um, a puzzle using frames in Canva using the same image even though you're actually using the same image multiple times it kind of ends up looking like there's just one image even though um, there are four different um, frames with the same image in them. So there are four images but they look like there's just one image. And that's how you make a puzzle using Canva and images and not a video. <laughs> but like I was saying, it's the exactly same concept. Um, and that's it. Bye.